to call this a mini budget is slightly uh, underestimating the impact of all this. I mean, this is actually massive, really, honestly. And you can look at it two ways. You could, you could, you could argue that it's going to be uh, really a lot of stimulus for the economy, but you can also argue that it's a massive gamble at a time when uh, the winds are against us in terms of inflation and the, the, the falling pound and all the kind of headwinds that we're, we're going to experience. Because, of, because what they've been announced really, I mean, that the, the energy price cap is huge. It's at least 60 billion and possibly more, um, probably more. Uh, and that's for, for individuals and for businesses. We've got this cut in national insurance that was going, uh, that has started to come in that's going to be reversed. Uh, uh, corporation tax was supposed to go up. That's, that's going to be fairly big for, for small and medium sized businesses as well. Uh, that's going to stop. And these things are permanent. You know, these things uh, have to uh, require, they're going to require massive amounts of borrowing from the government.